I want you to know Jesus Christ. He's amazing. He's the greatest of the great. I could give you lots of reasons for that, but the one I want to talk about today is the fact that Jesus is the great shepherd. We all need shepherding for our souls. We, we go through times we need guidance, we need love, we need care, we need provision, we need protection, we need nurturing. Jesus is the great shepherd. In fact, that's what he's called in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20. He's called the great shepherd. In 1 Peter 2, 25, he's called the shepherd and the guardian of our souls. Jesus himself referred to himself as the good shepherd in John chapter 10. Let me read verses 11 through 15. He said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he's not the shepherd and doesn't own the sheep, leaves them and runs away when he sees a wolf coming. The wolf then snatches and scatters them. This happens because he's a hired man and doesn't care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. And as the Father knows me, I know the shepherd and I lay down my life for the sheep. What does Jesus tell, about, tell us about himself? He says he gives his life for his sheep. And he did that, he did die for us. And he sacrificed for us. He does care about his sheep. Not like a hired man, he, he cares about his sheep. He knows his sheep. His sheep know him. Do you know him? Are you his sheep? He knows you if you are. Verse 27 and 28, he says this, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish ever. No one will snatch them out of my hand. He says he speaks to those. My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. He speaks to those who are willing to follow him, who are willing to listen. Are you hearing from God in your life? Maybe it's because you're not listening. Maybe it's because you're not willing to do what he says. If you are, he says, my sheep will hear my voice and they will follow me. He says, I give them eternal life and nobody can take them out of my hand. What a great promise. What a great comfort. Jesus is the great shepherd. In 1 Peter chapter 5, he talks to us, some of us who are shepherding his flock by leading a, a group or leading a house church or leading a ministry. He says to us, he says, shepherd God's flock among you, not overseeing out of compulsion, but freely according to God's will, not for the money, but eagerly, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock, and when the chief shepherd, that's him, appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Jesus is the chief shepherd, we're his under shepherds, and he will reward us one day if we've been faithful, if we have pointed people to him, and if we've done it with the right motives. Do you need shepherding today? Get to know Jesus, because he's the great shepherd of his flock.